We've created the uh, product controller class and uh, it's stubbed out some methods for us and we've added some detail to that. And um, so now we need to add some views. Uh, the first view I would like to add is the index view which simply shows all the products. To do that I have to come over here to uh, my views folder and notice that we have subfolders here for each of our controllers. We have an account subfolder for the account controller. We have a home subfolder for our home controller. Um, a shared folder which I'll talk about later. We don't have a, however a product folder so I need to create one. So I'll simply uh, right click, click on add, select add and, and add a new folder and I'll call that product. Notice the name of the folder matches the name we gave the controller. And uh, after adding that I right click on that and I add, and I apologize you can't see the little silly arrow, but you can see the important part. I want to add a view, and we get a dialog box here that allows us to create a view. Now the view name matches the uh, controller name. Uh, that is done because when we say return view, it has to know what view to call, and the convention is to use the same name as you had in the uh, calling controller. So I'm going to call this index. We want to create a strongly typed view, and we want it to be a strongly typed view of product. So we, we choose product down here. Notice it has the namespace appended in front of it. And in our case, we want to create uh, basically um, a list, just a list of the products. So that's the view content. Uh, the master page comes from um, the views folder, shared subfolder, site.master, which is right inside here. So views shared, and if I open this up now, which I don't think I can because of the modality of this box, uh, you would see something called site.master. So uh, we have a master page here that we can easily modify, and I may modify that in a few minutes. So let me click on add. Uh, it will go ahead and, uh, and put the uh, uh, form together for me. Um, notice that... Um, um, it's giving a heading here called index. Uh, I could change that very easily. I could say product details, so we can edit that. Um, we have a link here. This this is called uh, an HTML helper method, and um, they all uh, are in the HTML class here. Um, and we'll see a number of these helper methods. This particular helper method creates a link. Um, the the link has let me get the IntelliSense has some text, so the text will say uh, create new, and then it has an action name called uh, called create. So it will attempt to look for a controller called create. Um, we'll leave that in there. Uh, we'll fill in the details later. Notice we're creating a table, and we have table rows, and um, here's a table heading, which uh, uh, is empty which gives us a little blank and then we have some table headings down here um, I just want to show the product name so I'm going to go ahead and take this part and comment it out um, I could just delete it but I'll just comment it out and I'll take this other stuff and comment it out also so it's going to go all the way down through the uh, discounted property comment those out um, and now notice that it is going f uh, for each item and this item is a product in the model. Now what's the model? Well let me go back to the controller. The model is the is the data structure that you send in as um, an argument here in the um, call to the view. So it's going to be a product and that's the strongly typed part. That's why it knows about products here. Um, notice it's a, a generic I enumeration of product. Um, I could easily change this from the word item to the word product uh, P for each P and model, um, but this is just a generic name, and notice it is typed as a product. And now we have an, another uh, set of action links, which are actually commented out. Um, let's see, are they commented out? They're not commented out, um, so I will leave them there. And um, here's a table definition with the uh, product ID. I want to take that out, so I'll comment that out. Here's the product name. Uh, notice what it's doing. It's, it's, taking, it's taking item, a specific item or product in the collection of products, and it's taking its product name, so it knows about the uh, various properties. And then I'm going to go ahead and 
uh, comment out the rest of the table details here down through the discounted just like I did in the headings and uh, I'll make that a comment um, okay now there's one more problem here maybe there's not a problem there might be a problem let's go ahead and run it and see what happens okay so what are we going to do we're going to go ahead and run this we're going to have to call it the product controller and by default it'll call the index method so I'm going to go ahead and start it here okay so here's our page and uh, this is our uh, initial uh, uh, index page so to call the product controller uh, as opposed to the home controller I need to put in product up here and that will automatically take me to the product controller and because I haven't specified um, an action method it's going to automatically call the index method so I'm going to hit return here and um, after a brief delay we should see the index method from the product controller and uh, here we see it now notice that we're, we're seeing a table here and all we're seeing is the product name because I commented the others out um, we're seeing a link for new now I'd like to draw your attention down here to the uh, to the uh, status bar down here so when I when I point to create new notice that it's going to uh, attempt to go to a product controller and the create action here's the product controller and the edit action passing in one which is the product ID of uh, Che and here is the details it's going to the product controller the details uh, action and also passing uh, the product ID of one notice that the product ID changes as I go down um, similarly on the edits so next let's add the um, let's add the the details f uh, the the code or the view for details notice if I click on this right now it's going to attempt to run the details method uh, excuse me the details action in the product controller which does exist the problem is that the uh, view doesn't exist so I'm gonna go ahead and run it and get the error message and you can see here that it's it hasn't found a view so it's looking in the views folder uh, both in the first in the product to see if we have a details defined there and if it's not there it tries to see it if it's in the shared and it's not there either so it's just an error so let's go ahead and add that now that's very simple behavior again um, I want to come down to my view folder and my product subfolder right click select add a new view this view is also going to work with the product but here I want to have a template that shows me the details same master page so let's go ahead and click on add it will provide uh, provide me with a uh, ASPX page um, this is called view page one that's okay so I made a mistake there see I didn't want to call it view page one uh, I wanted to call it details so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, close this off and uh, go ahead and delete this and do it over again I hate renaming things because you never can be sure what's going to happen there so um, we're going to add a view uh, it's called details uh, because that's the name of the controller again it's going to show details got that right click on add and here we go we now have the uh, the details here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything just like it is right now um, it'll show us everything there um, so let's go ahead and start over again again I have to start off with um, the product controller and um, I'll, I'll code in a little easy way to get this started here in a second uh, so um, as soon as it's uh, brought the thing up here okay here we are so I'm going to type in product again and notice it knows about it now and um, we're going to see the products and now when we see the list of products what I want to do is I want to go to details so let's go to details on aniseed syrup notice down below you see it's going to localhost going to the product uh, controller the details uh, action method passing the number three which is then going to call uh, which is going to retrieve that particular product and then pass that product uh, to the view which will display it and here we see the details we see the product ID and all the details we can go back to the list or we can call up the edit procedure um, so I think I want to stop the, the tutorial here uh, in the next tutorial we'll uh, take a look at the uh, 
uh, building the edit procedure because it's a little bit more complex than uh, these first two simple ones were.